Hello boys and girls, here we are again, Robin the Sudoku guy with some more number puzzles. But what we're doing with these number puzzles is making our way towards the time when we can do a real Sudoku puzzle. But let's have a look at this first. Here we have rows of nine and the interesting thing is here we have those same rows but they are joined up. And guess what? When they're joined up, they become a block. There's three blocks here, block there and there. These three blocks, when they go across the page like this, we call them horizontal blocks. This is a row, and when they are joined up to make blocks that go across the page, we call them horizontal blocks. And that's important to know for the, for the next sessions too. So let's very quickly solve this one, it's easy. One, two, three, four, five, I think it's a six. Let's try, do this one now. One, two, three, four, five, it's also a six. What about this one? One, two, three, four, five, it's also a six. Isn't that interesting? Now, let's look down at these here and you will notice that these, this row is the same as this row, this row is the same as this row, and this row is the same as this row. So the answers in here would also be 6, 6, and 6. We have learnt here that when you get three rows joined up, they make three horizontal blocks. Let's go now to the next section. Here we are going to see three horizontal blocks. Here's one there, here's another three horizontal blocks made up of three rows. And what we're going to do now is to solve these by looking at the rows. And let's look at this one for example. This is practice. One, two, that's got to be a three. Now when you put that three in, it's a good idea to count this block to see if you haven't repeated a number. Because when you repeat a number in a row, column or block, that's a no-no. Because if you do, your puzzle will never work out in the end. So just keep that in mind. It's one of the very important rules of Sudoku puzzle solving. Let's take this one. We could have, we could say, okay, we got uh, in this row here. We've got one, two, three, four, five is missing. Now we can check ourselves: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Correct. And in this row here, we have what missing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have a nine that's missing. Now here's something that's really interesting. You could have solved those just by looking for an empty number in a block. Down here we can solve these three horizontal blocks by looking not just for the numbers missing, but also for the number missing in a block. So this time, just for fun, we're going to do the block solving first. Okay, here we go. Uh, for this one, it's one, two, three, four, five. It's a six. Okay. Now the six went in this bottom row. We can check the bo check by going the other way. It's this always it, quite often, many times, two ways of checking yourself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We don't have a number repeated. Voila! Whoopee! We got it right. Now let's take this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's an eight that's missing. Now it's in this row, so let's check the row. One, no, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We've done it right. And of course, here we come to this last one. Then let's doing the, the block first. One, two, three, four, five. Now, boys and girls, I want you to understand something. That you can solve these by using looking at the rows as well as looking at the blocks. 
So that's it for today's session. Next session, we're going to be looking at vertical blocks. So bye for now.